have a portfolio here, right here. And one year, and I think it was the year 2003 or 2004, I had painted a few watercolor paintings. And then I decided to take a watercolor class and I really enjoyed the class and I really enjoyed the people there. And I liked seeing all the different artwork that everybody painted. So I actually told him that I was gonna give myself one year to become a great artist. So I painted almost every day for a year and I didn't become a great artist, but <laughs> I did accumulate a collection of watercolor paintings that I would like to show you. I'll just start with what I have on top here and I'll show you some of the paintings that I did. This is a watercolor of a parrot and I think it was a photograph that I took when I was down in Florida. This was one that I did in class and I painted this one because I'm really into, I was really into painting marbles. So I painted this one and it was just a little jar of marbles that I had on my counter. These were cats of a friend of mine and she ordered a commission painting and the bigger, the bigger picture turned out really nice. This was just one of the holy cards that we had at church and um, I repainted the picture just because I was practicing faces. And this, like I said in yesterday's video, zinnias are my favorite flower. And this was a photograph that I took of a butterfly or a moth butterfly on one of my flowers or in my garden. And I painted this one from one of my own photographs. This is Steve Eiserman. I painted Steve in a few different uh, pictures. I donated one to our hockey arena for my kids hockey team and they uh, raffled it off and don't and it was a donation i forget this guy's name from tampa bay i forget his name but there's another hockey player <clears throat> i was pretty into hockey when all my kids were playing hockey my oldest daughter loved bing crosby so i painted this picture Let's see like that of bing crosby i should give this to her if she wants it she can have it um, this was just in a magazine, this picture, and it was advertising orange juice, but I don't know why I painted this, but uh, but I did. <laughs> you can see that this was the orange juice. I'm not sure what kind of orange juice the advertisement was. Um, this was just a bird that I painted, and this was one of my original watercolors that I painted. I think I took this picture off of a calendar. And I have a daughter that collected pigs and loved pigs, so I painted this picture. And if she wants this one, she's welcome to have this picture. This is probably my third or fourth watercolor that I painted. I really was into painting a lot of marbles. And this is a marble picture that I painted. Just out of cheap watercolors. I think these ones were painted out of praying watercolors. Um, they're a very good watercolor for the price. And this is one of my sons with one of the kittens that we had. It was a, pic it was a photo that I had taken. Another marble picture. This was the very first watercolor that I ever painted. And this is the one that I showed the teacher. And when he saw it, he said, why? Why <laughs> would you paint that? But I, I love marbles. I just thought it was so cool to have a whole picture full of marbles. There's 125 marbles on this picture. This one is another marble picture. And I put the marbles, I put the marbles in, in order and I spelled them out. I spelled out the word marbles. I don't know if you can see that, but right here is the M and the A and the R. And then I just put a line of marbles along the top and the bottom for decoration. This was a photograph I took of one of our kittens and one of the kids' teddy bears. At one time we had nine cats and that's why I have so many cat pictures. And this cat was another photograph. He was hanging onto our broom and I painted this, this one off of a photograph as well. Let's see if I can put it like that. And this was just a picture I saw somewhere of uh, kids fishing. I compiled this from a couple photos or different pictures that I saw in magazine and uh, I put it together and made this picture. For about 10 years we had chickens so I love chickens and little small farms. This was one of the first paintings that I did. It's not very good but this is one of the first watercolors. This was a uh, photograph in a magazine 
And here's some more of our kittens when we had orange cats. And here's a smaller version of the same picture earlier. And this is a picture of a church that um, in one of my videos, an older man, Eugene, his name is Eugene, and we visited him at his apartment. This was a church that he attended in his town. I think it's out, I think it's in Nova Scotia. This is also another picture that I saw in a magazine and I, I painted this one. This is another one of my first watercolors. Same with this one. And this is a photograph of a farm that's right where I live right now. It's just about a mile away from where I live. And this is a big picture, again, of another of a little kitten and a little boy splashing the water. I did paint this from a photo in a magazine. And this is my daughter and her. She had a favorite puffalump. And she didn't have any hair until she was three years old. I thought this picture is so cute. She... We lost this puffalump so many times. It was sometimes left outside at night. And this is just another picture that I used as subject matter from that I saw in a magazine. I think this is a wolf. I'm not sure where I found had painted this from. And I think this one was also from a magazine. This is the eagle that I painted. One of our cats playing with a praying mantis. And this was in front of one of our houses that we lived at. And that was the brick. I added the marbles and the ball of yarn. I kind of compiled this picture from two different pictures. Again, marbles. The original picture that was with this boy, he was shooting or flicking little yarn balls, but I changed it to the marbles. And this is my kids. This is a picture of two of my kids when they were little, one was feeding the other one. And this is one of the first watercolors that I did. And this was just another little picture out of uh, the Country Magazine. It was all practice. These, oh, this was my daughter's dog when it was a puppy. Her name was Emma, Emma the Dilemma. We couldn't figure out what to name her, so that was her name, Little Basset Hound. And I compiled this picture with a dog. I put him on the bench and painted that. We had a couple geese, had a whole bunch of chickens, and we had rabbits and dogs and border collies and nine cats. This was another farm picture I painted for practice. That's different. <laughs> Milk and the cow. And this was a snow practice picture for snow and ice. This was a practice picture for horses. I could probably use some more practice on this. I did a few hamburgers and I even gave one, I had it laminated on a board and I gave this to a restaurant and they hung it up in their, in their dining room. And this was another practice picture that I had painted from a photo in a magazine. Here is another one of the daisies or the flowers that I painted. This is so simple. And here is a basket of apples with some chipmunks and another practice of a horse. Here's a, another picture of one of my kids when they were a baby. I painted this one. So cute. My mom crocheted this blanket. She crocheted a blanket for each of the kids. I love this one. Also collected all the clowns that my kids had, all their toy clowns, and I painted this picture. This was, um, my daughter got this for her dad for Christmas, and then this is one of the toys that they had. This was a toy that they had when they were little, and a little um, Ernie clown, and this was their blocks, and I set it all up. I took a photograph, and then I painted this. This is Angelique when she was playing hockey. And this was in the dressing room and she was putting the tape on her socks. This was Angelique when she, I don't know, was maybe three or four and she was sitting on the slide out in the backyard. And then I took this photo myself. Um, we set this up in the living room with a, actually it was a dark blue backdrop. 
I borrowed a manger from church with a bale of hay and I took the picture and then I painted it. So this was a photograph that I took. Angelique was dressed as an angel. So that's that for the year 2004-2005 and that was the year that I painted every day and I told myself I was going to become a great artist. <laughs> my my the, the watercolor teacher, he says, what do you mean you're going to give yourself a year to become a great artist? He says, I've been painting my whole life and I'm still not a great artist. Actually, he is a real, he was a, a great artist. He is very well known. His name is Harold Burton and he's from Leamington, Ontario. And he's very, very well known for painting outside winter scenes with kids skating and playing hockey. And um, he's pretty well known in our area. I, I think that wraps it up and I will see you in the next video.